Nearly four years after walking out of the joint venture to develop fifth-generation fighter aircraft based on the Su-57, the AMCA program chief has said that the major bone of contention was that Russia had refused to provide India the computer source code that could have allowed India to carry out upgrades to the aircraft with local technology without any Russian assistance. The Su-57 was also found to be lacking in stealth characters, as the Shukhoi Design Bureau focused more on maneuverability rather than stealth, and failed to achieve the perfect balance that is required in the fifth-generation program. He also said that the AMCA is designed to match the Indian Air Force's requirements, and will be much cheaper and cost-effective. Buoyed by the success of the Tartu Airbus partnership to manufacture C-295 transport aircraft in India, the Indian Air Force is keen that the procurement of 114 MRFA fighter jets follows the same by Global Make in India model, as it is less complicated than the strategic partnership model, and will enable quick delivery of fighter jets. The Indian Air Force has evaluated four different procurement options before moving ahead with its MRFA purchase, and has finally decided that the Bi Global Make in India model would be the ideal model for the $20 billion program. Under a contract signed in August 2021, the Indo-Israeli joint venture between Elbit System and Alpha Design Technologies has delivered over 100 Sky Striker tactical loitering munition to the Indian Army. The Sky Striker has a range of 100 km, and it can loiter and track its target for two hours, and can dive at a high speed of 550 km per hour to hit its target. The Indian Army has inducted a limited number of Israeli Spike LR-2 fifth-generation anti-tank guided missiles and launchers, that can engage targets at a range of 5.5 km when fired from the ground launcher. Powered by artificial intelligence, the Seeker features smart target tracing capabilities that ensures target lock-on under extreme conditions against multiple targets at higher impact angles of up to 70 degrees, and it also features the capability to abort the mission mid-flight. The Indian Air Force has started integrating its Mi-17 V-5 armed helicopters with the Israeli Spike non-line-of-sight missiles that can destroy ground targets at a range of 32 kilometers. The Spike non-line-of-sight missile is a multi-purpose infrared missile system that provides the operator with real-time video imagery and has all-weather capability against both static and moving ground targets. After releasing an expression of interest for Indian companies to indigenously design and develop various spares and consumables used in Su-30 aircraft under Make-2 category, Hindustan Aeronautics has now started process to indigenize the components of the Russian AL-31 FP engine that powers the Su-30 aircraft of the Indian Air Force. Hindustan Aeronautics had already signed a memorandum of understanding with Russia's Rosbaron export to export spares and accessories of engines of the Su-30 and MiG-29 fighter jets to friendly countries. The Indian Air Force and the DRDO had initiated a project to develop and manufacture new lightweight integrated dual-visor aircrew helmet and pressure-breathing oxygen mask for Su-30 aircraft Mirage 2000 and MiG-29 fighter jets. The integrated dual-visor aircrew helmet has now started fabrication, and it will weigh less than 1.5 kilograms. The Indian Air Force is looking to procure more CH-47 Chinook helicopters, and has started the process to get the procurement cleared from the Cabinet Committee on Security. The Air Force is likely to press for seven follow-on orders of Chinook helicopters that are part of the original contract signed in 2015. India's much-delayed project for indigenous artillery seems to be finally reaching its conclusion, 
as the Danush Howitzer had recently cleared all decks for its induction, and the 155mm 52 caliber advanced towed artillery gun system is also undergoing the last stage of final user trial, after which the ATAGs will finally be ordered, and both the private firms Barrett Forge and Tata Power SED will get orders. The first edition of the Naval Commanders Conference of 2022 will start from today, during which top naval commanders will discuss important maritime matters at the military strategic level, future procurements including Project 75I, Project 75 Alpha and Project 76, major operational and logistics matters, as well as interact with the Defense Minister and External Affairs Minister. Oh, my God.